about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the better man for your life with house and home. Hello and welcome to another house and home show. I'm Theresa Miria and thank you for joining me. Hope you all enjoyed your long weekend and yes, also joining Papua New Guinea in celebrating the National Day of Repentance was the gospel group called The Planet Shakers. The concept was amazing, awesome sound, extraordinary talent witnessed at the Sad John Guy Stadium here in the nation's capital, Port Mosby. I'm sure those who were there did enjoy every bit of it. So obviously we can all say goodbye to the month of August and get ready for the new month, September, which we all definitely know that Papua New Guinea's Independence Day is approaching. Now back to house and home, the show must go on. We have a great lineup for you starting with Chef Francois making some lovely cookies for kids. John Peral from Alamotos talks to us about the preventative vehicle maintenance tips. Leon from Brineville features another quality product we will find out later on in the show. Tina Pomat gives a special feature on BSB Smart Business Package and CSR activities. More sentiments on Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi. And finally, we join Godfrey Man on Tech People. To get our show on the road, here now is Chef Francois making lovely cookies for kids. Enjoy! Welcome everybody from the Yacht Club. It is me, your favorite Chef Francois. I take off my hat. All right. Okay. What we're we going to do tonight? We're going to do cookies. 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 What I have here? I got flour, icing sugar. I talk icing sugar. I will explain to you why. And I got butter. So now, what we're we going to do? I look like a traffic officer like that, huh? I'm going to start from the flour. I put the flour in a bowl. So I make it easy. I go by cap. Oh, the wind. One, okay, put them all. There's 500 grams of flour. And there's 500 grams of icing sugar. Okay, I put icing sugar because it's easy to dissolve with the butter. Then the ramu sugar takes more time. Okay, so talk savet So I put my icing sugar down there now. There we are. Icing sugar. And I will put my butter. No, no, okay, butter, butter, so now let's go and get dirty, we're going to mix it up. I don't put water, I don't put eggs, I don't put nothing, it's only flour, icing sugar, and butter. The mix is going to be very soft, so I will explain to you why I got that wrapper down there. So you see, I will break it, break it. Nasty. So now we're starting to get something like, you see, you could play with it. You see? It's not finished yet, but we're getting there. That will be your shortbread. And I want the spokes in there. I will explain to you why after. Okay, I'm going to put my wrapper up here. I'm going to get my shortbread, which is very soft. And I'm going to mold them up up here, down there. It's not the shortbread you're going to use the same day. You see? So you go like that. You wrap him, click, click, wrap him, wrap him, and roll him. So it's nice and tight. All right. You see? It's all nice. You roll him. You can't use it the same day. You must go in the fridge. Pass him. Pass him. That's your shortbread. You must put him in a fridge for two, three hours before you cut it and cook it. When we go to the next steps, I will show you what to do. Now, I have some I done yesterday in a fridge. I'm going to pick them up and show you what we're going to do with it. But that's what you should have. That's the one I took from the fridge now. They're hard. Okay, what I done, I done a plain one. And I've done one with nuts. So what we're going to do, we're going to get the cooking tray ready. 
That's the one. I got my cooking tray up here. So the wheel for the fridge, we take off the plastic. Okay. Oh geez, plain pepper on there. One more. Now I'm going to get the knife and uh, we go like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. I'll put the cookie up here on the tray. You space them up because they're going to they're going to melt in the oven, okay? So you put one there, one there, one there, one there. You see the last one? For stop the wheel. Thank you. Okay, that's the one with the nuts. Now we're going to do the one, the same process. The one who got no nuts, that's the one we just done now with the butter and flour. M is equal to M no hardly clicker, flour, butter, sugar, and that's all. Mix him good. No got eggs, no got milk, no got water. Time you walk in with some flour, I've got big flour dry. I'm all right. Still working cookie, no need water. I'm no. Okay, I'll do the same. Cut in one, two, three. Some the big, some the small, sorry, eh? All right, it's the same. They go on the tree. That's the one. Okay, remember, just cooking, when you cook them, you must put them in an oven 160 degrees. No more. You cook them for about 20, 25 minutes. When you're going to take them out, they're going to look soft. So let them, let them set for a while. When they'll be setting, they'll be perfect. There we are. Now I'm going to put them in the oven. I'll come back with the cooked one. All right. Au revoir. After I've been cooking overnight, now I just cook it for 25 minutes. There we are, those cookies coming up. Like I told you before, they're going to spread on the tree because they're very soft. Okay, so I'm going to take them out one by one. Put them on the feet. That's the one with the nuts. Beautiful, nice and buttery. Not good for people for diet because it's too rich for them. Good for the kids, good for school. All right, so I'm going to put them on the tree down there. I'm going to put the other one up here, the one down there, the one up here. That's finished down there. I put my plate up here. Who wants some cookies? All right, there we are now. There's beautiful cookie, cookie. Kids, there you like to have some cookies. Do you want some? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to give you any because you eat the whole hamburger last time, you don't give me any. Hello, that's me again. All right. Everything all right? Yeah. And good black cookie for you, Blanc? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to mix the cookie. All right? Yeah. Mix it, go for it. Mix it up, mix it up. Good, eat harder, harder. Harder, harder you do, harder, and that, you like that, and that, you find. Give it, oh, hey, I'm doing, hey, hey, I'm doing now, I'm doing. That's it, finish again. See you tomorrow, bye. <laughs>
our axis, specifically our egg door axis. So let's go take a look. This brand of axis is the tough kind, built to last, durable and value for money. Egg door axis come in a range of different sizes, from 1.2 kg 700mm X heads to the larger 2 kg 800mm X heads. The Egg door axis brand bell stocks and cells are two particular types, X head with the handle and X head alone. The X head with handle is your typical normal X with the handle. However, we've all seen or indeed used one X that either belonged to your uncle, brother or mate that has been modified and welded onto a steel or iron rod. This is where the X head is ideal, so you can mix and match to best cater to you. Adding this Egg door X head to your iron or steel makes your Egg door X even tougher and all you have to do is keep your X sharp and ready to cut. Egg door axes are made from quality Swedish steel and if looked after well, these axes will last a lifetime. So why should you get this axe and why egg door? Well simply put, this is a quality product from a reputable brand that has been making axes for a long time. It's designed to make the best of every cut and penetrate through the toughest vegetation with every swing. As I mentioned earlier, the windy season may pose a threat, but with this axe, you can cut or prune branches and eradicate that risk it possesses. Branches on windscreens, houses, loved ones and power lines are a hazard and precautionary measures can and should be taken to address this. Now the majority of the population in PNG lives in rural areas. We're a bit behind in many ways, but when it comes to agriculture and producing organic fresh fruits and vegetables which are healthy for you, we're right at the forefront. Cultivation of these fresh goods and products are important to us. These can be easily helped along with the use of egg door axis from Brian Bell. Gardening in rural parts of PNG from the highlands to the islands is very challenging. This product from Brian Bell, the egg door axe, is ideal for helping to clean and groom your land for cultivation of our fresh garden kaikai. Now whilst we're on the topic of agriculture and cultivation of your land, it's important for you to understand that Brian Bell also has some seeds that you can use after you've cleared your land with your egg door axis and dug up your ground with your tramontina picks, forks and spades. These seeds can be found here at our hardware section in Brian Bell. These seeds include cabbage seeds, carrot seeds, tomato seeds, onion seeds, watermelon seeds and cucumber seeds. Also, if you're looking to cut or prune trees and feel like your egg door axe will not suffice, then check out our Hyundai chainsaws. These are perfect to clear fallen trees or thicker branches which can later be chopped with your egg door axe for you to use as firewood. Hyundai is a quality trusted brand for motor vehicles, but they also produce quality lawnmowers and these chainsaws. This chainsaw will make tough jobs seem like it's a walk in the park. Now back to our egg door axes. These axes, as I mentioned earlier, were made from the finest material and refined in a process where it makes the X head absolutely strong, strong enough to cut through anything. Now, simple measures that you can take to help along this blade so it can last even longer is polishing and filing the blade of the X. Polishing, this encourages your X head and blade to be rust free. Filing, allows your blade to be sharp and will cut through your next job with ease. Brian Bell also stocks and sells quality files that you can use on your axes and bush knives. And we all know Papua New Guineans have at least one bush knife at home. So there you have it. If you're looking to cultivate your land or indeed clear up your yard, egg door axes are your best bet. Come on into Brian Bell, check it out and get one for yourself. And always remember, great prices, great products and great after sales service. That's Brian Bell. Until our next time together, it's goodbye and God bless. Viewers, now you know, that was Brian Bell showcasing the variety of access available. So do check out any of Brian Bell's retail stores and get the best quality. We take a short breather and when we come back, we join John Perrault from Ella Motors.
regular preventive maintenance is one of the most important things you can do as a vehicle owner to keep your vehicle happy and save money on repairs in the future. A wise man once said, prevention is better than cure. Anyone who has ever worked on vehicles or spent a ton of money getting their vehicles repaired will tell you, don't ignore preventive maintenance. The basics, like changing your oil, checking your tire pressure, and getting scheduled inspections and work done are like getting regular checkups at the doctor. They keep you healthy and give you and the experts a chance to catch anything serious before it becomes a major problem. Hello, I'm John, a Toyota technical trainer here at Ella Motors. I will be talking to you today about vehicle preventative maintenance. Preventative maintenance describes the act of inspecting or testing the condition of vehicle subsystems and servicing or replacing parts and fluids. Under the bonnet is where most of the weekly checks should be done. A visual inspection for any obvious problems like oil or coolant leaks should be attended to immediately, as this could develop quickly into major problems that require expensive repairs. Engine oil checks should be done when the engine is at operating temperature. Be sure the engine is cold or has been off for at least 10 minutes before you check the oil. This will allow for the engine oil level to stabilize. Locate the portion of the engine oil dipstick. Remove the dipstick and wipe it with a clean cloth. Place the dipstick back into the tube, wait for a short time and remove it again. The oil level should ideally be at the full mark, but depending when the next oil change is due, the level should always be between the minimum and maximum marks on the dipstick. The brake and clutch fluid is known as hydroscopic. In that, it actually absorbs moisture from the air. Because of this, the reservoir lid should always be fitted correctly to keep the moisture and dust out of the system. If you have a hydraulic operated clutch on your manual transmission, fluid should be changed at least every 40,000 kilometers. If the level is low, it could indicate that a leak exists or that the material of the brake disc pads and brake shoes are low. If the fluid is not changed on a regular basis, you may experience brake failure when driving in conditions that require a lot of braking, especially when you are driving downhill. The windshield washer reservoir should always be kept full and only the correct type of washer fluid added. Never add car wash or household detergents as they will cause damage to the paintwork. The wiper inserts should always be checked to make sure that they are secure in the holders and are capable of cleaning the windscreen when in use. Wiper insets that are loose in the holder will most likely cause damage to the windscreen when they are used. The engine's cooling system relies totally on the quality and quantity of fluid in the radiator. This fluid is a combination of water as well as additive and reduces the likelihood of corrosion to components, as well as increasing the temperature that the system can sustain before overheating. Remember, if you need to top up your engine oil, brake fluid, clutch fluid or radiator coolant fluid, we here at Elamoto stock and retail quality brands just for you. Your vehicle's electrical system is important too. I recommend that you should check the operation of all your lights, including indicator, brake, tail or park, and the headlights, low and high beams. If your lights are not all functioning, it may just need a new light bulb. The components on the interior of your vehicle should also be inspected. The correct operation of the seat belts are important. Check to make sure that they click in together securely and that they retract and release. And also lock when you pull on them quickly. Display warning lights indicate one of the vehicle's electrical systems could have an operating malfunction. If you have a light that flickers on or stays on for a period of time, Check your owner's manual for an explanation on what the light means and get it looked at by an expert. How well you care for your trim and paintwork will also result in your vehicle maintaining the showroom look for years to come. Regular cleaning of the interior of your vehicle will ensure that the fabric and trim materials retain the luster. 
Attention to paintwork will also add ears to your vehicle's life. Regular washing by hosing of dust and removing any road grime, followed by washing only a few panels at a time. Then rinse off before the area has a chance to dry. Keep going till you have washed the entire exterior. If you are not comfortable in doing this yourself, come into one of our Elamoto's body and paint departments and our team of experts will provide you advice on what you can do to restore your vehicle's exterior condition. Well, that's all for this episode and I look forward to showing you and what happens behind the scenes when you bring your vehicle to Ella Motors. Always remember, Ella Motors is your first choice. The Bank South Pacific cares about helping its valued customers and giving them a chance to explore the world of business. BSP believes in making your business grow. We now join Tina Pomat as she features the BSP Smart Business Package and updates on its CSR activities. Good evening and welcome to another BSP program. For this month, we feature our BSP Smart Business Package. I know there are a lot of imagine entrepreneurs out there who are seeking capital to grow your business. But all you need to do is open a BSP Smart Business account in order to obtain a business loan to grow your business. The BSP Smart Business Loan gives customers the flexibility and funds to purchase assets, meet operation costs and build their business. Firstly, you must ensure that your business is a registered and licensed trading entity. It has been trading for more than 12 months, has a business bank account and operates from a permanent location. Secondly, collect the following forms from your nearest branch. Smart Business Finance Step-by-Step -step Checklist, Application for Smart Business Finance, and Personal Details of Sole Traders, Partners, Directors, Guarantors for Smart Business Finance. Finally, submit your completed application forms along with your current business license or IPA certificate and business bank account statements for the last 12 months. We will now feature Helen Victor, owner of Zonani Guest Supplies. Helen tells a story on how the BSP Smart Business Package has helped her grow her business. Uh, Helen Victor is my name. Uh, I am the owner of Zonani Guest Supplies. Uh, the name Zonani is actually my daughter's name. I decided to use it uh, as my company name. Uh, I do uh, delivery of uh, LPG guests door-to-door. And I also have um, a few co commercial customers that I uh, supply, yes. I am located at uh, Yorkshire Street. It's at the back of Marola Estate up the hill. Uh, it's just two or three blocks away from the main road. I was a teacher and um, when I moved to Port Mosby, I decided not to teach. Uh, I was in the house and I found it boring. So when they introduced the uh, the selling of guests as an entrepreneur around the house. I was one of the first customers that uh, jumped at the idea and uh, just got a few guests and started selling at the back of my house. I operated for 10 months and I wanted to get a loan and they said, no, you'll have to make it 12 months. After 12 months, I went back to uh, get a smart business loan. Uh, in fact, I went to get a loan and uh, they told me it was a smart business loan. And uh, they said, yes, you can. They gave me the application five days turnover and they gave, me, they gave me the first loan. As easy as that. I did the delivery starting from seven o'clock and I finished at seven. Mm -hmm. I could go from, you know, Sabbath, from door to door, all over the place. But there was a lot of risk involved driving around as a female, uh, knocking on doors to, you know, supply gas. Uh, to do, doing with cash business whatever, was a bit risky, so that is why I went to the bank to get, uh, asked them if they could give me an f post and uh, they did, they gave me, they gave me two f post machines. Uh, they introduced me to phone banking and online banking because I knew that it was risky carrying cash around. I've actually got three loans already from BSB and I'm working on the fourth, I'm, I've actually applied for the fourth one just recently. Uh, the turnover time is very good. 
Um, BSP Smart Business Loan turnover time is just five days to probably two weeks or so. So long as you have all the documents in place, they make it happen. Firstly, go and bank with BSP because they've got a good smart business package. Uh, they've got the whole package. Uh, that's that. Uh, secondly, uh, when you want something, you've got to work at it and get it. It's, it's never easy. You've got to start somewhere and you've got to go. So that's what I've done. I've started small at my house and uh, I've grown this far to selling. I've got a few big customers and I do a lot of uh, domestic customers as well. So you've got to start somewhere. Uh, that's my message to people who want to start business. Uh, there's no quick fix. You've got to start small and get to where you want to go. Have big dreams and uh, you can make it happen. Thank you, Helen. A very inspiring story indeed. And if you'd like more information on our SME Smart Business Package, do visit our website or contact our client service on 320-1212 or 7030-1212. Moving on to our sponsorship events, BSP supported the 10th Sipic River Crocodile Festival, which was held on the 5th to the 7th August in Ambunti, East Sipic Province. This festival is one of the major tourist attraction events held annually with over 200 tourists attending. The bank has supported the festival since 2011 and has continued its gold sponsorship of 25,000 kina this year. BSP also supported the Red Shield Appeal Corporate Golf Challenge this year with 20,000 kina. Moving on to a community project, over in Wiwek, BSP renovated two classrooms and installed two water tanks at Wiwek Hill Elementary School. Project activities included replacing window frames, fly wires, patching cement floors, installing new gutters and painting the exterior and interior walls of the classroom. Back here in Port Mosby, our retail business unit renovated the PNG Blind Service Centre. This is the second time under this initiative we contributed in assisting the centre run its programs. In 2013, the Boroko branch staff renovated the building and presented office equipment and two computers which paved the way for the center to set up an ICT training program by the blind and visually impaired people. This year, the retail team refurbished the building, giving it a fresh new look for the students to learn in a clean and comfortable environment. Well, viewers, this brings us to the end of our program for tonight. Do stay tuned next month to know more about the BSP Fest Home Ownership Scheme. Until then, good night. Thanks, Tina, for the BSP updates. To all you emerging entrepreneurs, do make time available to visit BSP for more details. Welcome back. You're watching House and Home if you've just tuned in. Having a little bit of hope in the midst of hopelessness can definitely at one point take you another mile. On Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, we discover some essentials for managing chronic illness. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Welcome to Healthy Mind. We was as I promised, I thought this is the moment for us to understand how we can improve our lifestyle to stay healthy. Well, this evening, we come one time to talk some of 10 essential for managing chronic illnesses. Why not we talk 10 essentials for managing chronic illnesses because we know that lifestyle diseases have been an issue in our lives and especially cancer, uh, high blood pressure, like Osemblo respiratory problem, being obesity, that means putting on too much of weight, and heart diseases, kind, kind 
sick blow you me and bugger up him you know or some thing thing blow you body blow you all that something penis so look this like evening you me must understanding there are some steps you me must making because our life is very important for us and for our children and our for our future so you me savvy or some there are certain things which you and I ha- can look at it and change our lifestyle with some limitations and where we can change now look look because some like kind research lo boston too only come out like you know or some talk lo me or some lo research and talk or some this la like 10 pla essential uh, for managing chronic illnesses or some not suppose you are in this la like 10 plus steps now you may can make him life blow you me good blood through or same low e this la like evening me talk or same low suppose you suffer low one plaque kind sick or same cancer or low high blood pressure blood sugar or respiratory problem that is all sick low bros or sick low heart or one him something you me must uh, make him scale him some plus something low or life blow you me number one or same proper nutrition why you may talk him also in proper nutrition there are certain sicknesses certain kai kai you may can't take but our body needs nutrition so you may must talk to your doctor and hire him one him something you must scale him what you have to avoid what you have to give up because some plus something you may must treat him low side blow kai kai blow you may m can also prolong him life blow you na m also him. you can fight him this like kind sick so proper nutrition whoever whatever you are going through don't get worried don't get paranoid don't get war go to fight him this like thing not think thing plenty or some talk talk lo doctor talk talk lo khaman or savi lo nutrition side love fine him what you have to avoid what you have to give up what you need and what the proper nutrition are very important for our lifestyle so take care and look after yourself on the nutrition side and most and by me make him some simple straight so kai kai blow you who what you eat who you are so you need to ensure a proper good nutrition right nutrition you may must look look good low side blow you number two exercise well exercise and by bring him or some you save or some low sick blow you me i mean come up low body blow you me and two by karma him go low you know or some mind think think come up or some and by go low body blow you me so me save or some low active uh, if you can do exercise a brisk walk or uh, you know healthy walking patterns every day 30 minutes m can fight him na uh, fight him sick you know sick that's all low m can bring him healthy body blow you na healthy mind blow you m one pla good pla way low managing chronic illnesses you know when you have a brisk walk every day you can fight him high blood sugar high blood pressure fight him stress now plenty something and mr apa so number two lo disla number three spiritual nourishing or simple nourish lo me talk talk lo nutrition yeah or some spiritual nourishing you know or some lo body your mind and your soul so i'll actually uh, you know encourage the uh, those who are suffering some kind of chronic illnesses to go and ask your pastors or priest or whoever you can move around with and improve your spiritual nourishing because m can try uh, power and by come up low stay healthy straight number four awesome take control or take actions or active role on your own health care why me talk or some take active role you need to look after yourself you can't wait for somebody to come and tell you you take care of yourself every year or every month or go check him all blood bro you to straight now talk to law health provider talk to the doctors find out just uh, i'm not talking about over thinking about your sickness but also in low take be controlled don't be ashamed of yourself be you know and be proud that you you can defeat him all this like kind of sick don't be fright don't be ashamed don't be anything but take or some active role in your own uh, health care itself so number five or some communication direct communication is very very important communication with your family members loved ones and doctors 
providers or care providers, counselors, any tripla. Because if you don't communicate, you put him all good as something go low, bell blow you stop or some M can put him or some strong la or some to think thing can go negative, think thing can come up mental health issues. So communicate communication can say, Oh, me no hamamas, me pili mo sem, me one him something, me pili mo sem mo sem, lo sick blow me or sem mo sem, or feeling blow me or sem mo sem. Suppose you go to him lo direct communication one time care providers or family members or friends or who sati and me too can make him thrive like change na life blow you can change good number six or same educate yourself well knowledge is very important when you have knowledge i'm not telling you to go and read everything and get frightened and walk think think plenty or no educate yourself about any illnesses whatever the chronic illnesses you are going through because this particular education to your own self can bite him can bite him spiritually can bite him blow kind blow sick blow you symptom blow you na mind blow you all gonna something can come place clear so it's good to learn more about your own sickness or other sickness you can prevent or to manage with what you have number seven awesome pace yourself you don't get hyped up and be stressful and get your time in place get your energy in place pace yourself even if you're suffering uh, chronic illnesses, the moment you uptight, uh, uptight yourself, then I'm sick by go bar up you more yet. Huh? So some pace yourself or some family stuff, time, your energy, or put him or some nice blood timing come up. Yeah, you by come feel him good blood through. Huh? Or some blood pace yourself, low, or get or something. Eight or same humor and inspiration. You, I'm not telling you to sit down and worry in a you know hurry cry and stop you must have laughed laughter is good medicine uh, friends you must have good fun uh, laugh about your sickness or laugh about everything and inspire yourself read good books which can inspire your most emotions and your mind because mind can overpower plenty something huh? or same law you must have humor and inspire get the inspiration and also hamamas lo you yet na emi big plus something important number time nurture your primary relationship i'm not telling you to go ahead and get your uh, you know tom dick and harris to come and be around you no god primary relationship your parents your husband and wife or your children strengthen primary relationship should be strengthened because that's where you kiss him one plus three plus strong and by come blow you lo pite him this la chronic sickness huh? so same uh, you know emi good plus well or instead of getting angry or something express or oh, i'm getting annoyed with you or oh, i'm feeling you're not getting spending enough but on the other hand or some you open up na loved ones to family to must come na empathize put him you know all our, your own relatives your happiness life is one so you may must you know come or say mari mari now sorry or you must be uh, in nurturing that love what am i talking about is all about love the love you have not for yourself your loved ones can improve their lifestyle and their lifespan and to you and finally it's also manage your stress stress is one of the important thing without stress is not it's boring life is boring so what will i say if you are under stress pick up those stressful point and get the problem solving skills and get your time in place what is urgent what is not urgent put him or same blow list lo blow you me now tick now walk him or same blow daily daily diary or one him something you me can fight him this like kind of stress so these are 10 essentials you can look into it to prolong your good health and uh, you know like awesome lo come up good plus straight lo life blow you me what will i tell you before we go home keep life life simple well viewers life is simple everything common sense makes you very healthy so keep life simple and enjoy simple things in life em one pla way all get a sick one em kind chronic sick you got you can fight him na stay healthy well we can improve our quality of life with these 10 essentials and i'm sure this is the time for you to jump out of the bed whoever you are put all these things in place now make him life blow you number one stress and now come up low 
good plan la life plan you put him papa god first and by give him wisdom na lining lining lo walk him this la walk lo you me be by karem all this la story pinis or same na me expect him all get a man who has harim lo give him love lo you lo loved ones and stay healthy until next time take care and god bless you all bye bye now Healthy Mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom P&G Limited. So, you need a Bluetooth speaker that's durable and easy to carry around with you, but one that's compact but still boasts a whole bunch of features? Well, how about one that clips onto you? Well, I've got the Bluetooth speaker for you. This is the JBL Clip Plus, and you may remember me mentioning it as an alternative to the amazing UE Mega Boom a few weeks ago. Now, this speaker doesn't quite live up to the Mega Boom, but for its price range, it's a pretty good buy. This little guy's just got the right amount of sound you need to be encased in your old bubble of music or to have a little office party. It's handy enough to stow away in small places and comes packed with a whole bunch of features. Now, I'll get into all that later, but first, let's talk about the design. All right, so the first thing you notice about this speaker is that it's actually quite small, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's got a nice, round, smooth design that fits well into your grip and makes it super easy to carry around with you. I've even taken this thing on runs with me and it's really easy to carry. The rubber lining around the side adds to this and also makes the speaker a little more durable and less susceptible to falls and breaks. And it has a nice metal grade to cover up the speaker inside. You can see here that it also has the buttons around the side. You've got your volume buttons and you've got your Bluetooth button for pairing. And you've even got a call button. <laughs> now I really like these buttons because they don't come up through the rubber, they're under the lining so they don't disturb the smooth surface. Plus it feels really good to just press them. You can probably tell that mine's been through a lot, but it's still ticking, and that serves to a testament to its strength and durability. This speaker is comfortable in your hands or just sitting at your desk playing music. It's got this little rubber lining on the bottom that keeps it from sliding off of surfaces, and its versatility is also just a plus. The second thing you'd probably notice is the clip at the top. Now, this has been the selling point for the clip series and basically does what it says. It clips onto stuff. Pretty much anything actually. Bags, billums, shirt collars, just all that, and that's all I did when I traveled with this. I just clipped it onto my backpack and I was good to go. It's a small thing to add to a boombox, seeing as other boomboxes have ports or metal rings that allow for the use of clips, but having a built-in clip is a nice touch and doesn't sacrifice anything that the boombox has to offer. Uh, if anything, it actually makes it easier to grip. Now, in spite of its small size, the JBL clip has a lot to offer. First off, let's get back to that call button I mentioned earlier. That's right, you can take calls on it, and it's got a built-in microphone right next to the call button. And outside of calling, the call button functions normally as a pause play button. And I thought this was a really excellent addition, because when you talk on it, you can pretend it's like a walkie-talkie and be all official and stuff. <laughs> and obviously, the speaker is Bluetooth, so it runs on a rechargeable battery that lasts around five hours and comes with its own charger cable with a micro USB connection. So you can charge it with almost any current phone charger. Another cool feature is the built-in aux cord. That's it, it's got a built-in aux cord. So it allows you to play music off a device that isn't Bluetooth, or just if your phone's battery's low and you don't want to listen to music while you know draining your battery a lot. It's just a really handy feature. Along with the aux cord, it's also got an aux port, which allows for multiple clips to be used in a sort of daisy chain. Yeah. Now, I was just completely surprised by how powerful this little guy is. It's actually quite loud, but not so loud. I say it's the perfect volume for chilling with friends or just chilling alone in your room. However, when pushed, the bass does get a little distorted for some tracks. But with that in mind, I wouldn't label this as a party Bluetooth speaker. The sound quality is remarkable, and I rarely ever have to push the speakers to their limit. This is the kind of sound level I want on my desk while I'm at work, playing some background music. It works really well that way. 
But on occasion, I do take it to the louder levels. I mean, I've used this in the shower, while on outings, while working out, and even when I'm just chilling out with friends. But also, I love placing this under my pillow and listening to some music to help me fall asleep. Again, this is one versatile speaker, and the sound levels are no exception. And with all that said, this is an excellent speaker. It's packed with some really helpful features that makes this speaker one of the handiest, versatile, and surprising speakers that I've ever used. And with a price tag of around 250 kina, this isn't a bad speaker at all. I've always got this speaker on me just in case I need it, and it never lets me down. It's tough, fairly loud, and because it's so small, it's just super easy to carry around with you. I give the JBL Clip Plus a final score 4.6 out of 5. That was Tech People with Godfrey Man featuring the JBL Clip Plus speakers. Well, viewers, we've come to the end of our show. Just as much as I've enjoyed your company, I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. For any comments on any of our features, contact the House and Home team on the email address now showing on your screen. You can also get in touch with us through our House and Home Facebook page. And to view this episode again, visit MTV Online. And remember that there's more that you can get for your home and lifestyle improvement when you tune into House and Home. Until the next time, I'm Theresa Miria, and on behalf of the House and Home team, pleasantly win. Goodbye. Lifestyle. It's all about the better man for your life.